station ID. Coming to work. Joe Deerte. You have them spinning tires, do you? You suck! You do! All the world. Walk-ins welcome. There you go. Molar world. One for the kid? Yeah. Sure. Molar. What's up? Oh my god. Competition Orange 67. This thing's a Hemi. Ma'am, are you selling this car? Oh, yeah. I literally just went onto the market. Tell me what you got in your pocket, and she's yours. For real? You hear that, Charlie? We got us a Hemi, brother. That lady gave me a great hey, idea. Hey, dirt! Dirt! Storm's coming in! Get up on the roof! Colin. <laughs> All right, so finish your story. Now, you know, why do you live with foster parents? Well, because when I was like nine or ten years old, my parents pulled over on the side of the road to look at that big dinosaur out there in California. Mm -hmm. And next thing I know, they're gone. Mm. Wait a minute. Did you have a brother? Mm-hmm, I did. So, you want to go back in the house? We can have sex. <laughs> I had a car now, so I left the carnival and kept running down the names on my list looking for people who took those photos at the Grand Canyon. Somewhere in Indiana, I hear a little snag. I found a guy who had pictures, but he turned out to be a freak. I guess this is the place. Buffalo Bob's kind of a weird name. But people say Joe Dirt's a weird name, and how cool am I? Excuse me, sir. So I cruised down south to New Orleans and found a base of operations for my search. Anyway, that list had names from all over the state. But I was flat broke. I didn't have no money for gas. So I found a job, and that led to the biggest break in my case yet. You got out of hog for me? Dang! Yeah! Uh, somebody else wants to get in here. Who's that? Come on, boys! Come on! Wow! <laughs> Looks like Charlie. Yep. Hey! You're talking to my guy all wrong. It's the wrong tone. Let's rock, dirt boy. Let's go. 